Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can merge the sales in a table for a WooCommerce website using a free plugin. If you are using the default Gutenberg table block to create tables, then there is no option to merge the sales in a table. And that's why I'm going to use a free plugin to merge the sales in a table and to create a table just like this. Here you will see some cells are already merged. In this row, we have three cells which are merged and created one single large cell. In this column, you will see three cells are merged and created one single large cell. So I'll show you how you can merge the cells using a free plugin. In one of the previous videos, I have shown you how you can create a professional table using the Table Burke plugin. This plugin has free as well as premium version. And I have shown you how you can install the free plugin to create tables, how you can install the premium version and what is the difference between the free and the premium plugin. And I have also shown you how you can use the pre-designed table templates to create professional table using the table Berg plugin. If you want to watch this detailed video, I'll give you the link in the description box. Now I'm going to use the same plugin to create a table where we can merge the cells in a table. I'm going to use only the free version and not the premium version. So you can use the free plugin to create a table just like this. Let me show you the plugin. Let's go to dashboard and go to plugins. Uh, this is the plugin that I have installed. If you want to install it, you can simply go to add new plugin. And here search for table Berg. And this is the plugin that I have installed. All right, let's go back to the sample page that I have here. And let me show you if I install the default table block editor here. This is the default Gutenberg table block. And if I create a sample table here, four by four column, you will not find any option to merge the cells in this table. So that's why we are using the table bulk plugin. All right, so let me delete this one. Uh, let me create a new table using table bulk. So here I'm going to search for table bulk. You can search for table bulk here. And this is the block that we are going to use. So let's select this one. And for this, I'm going to use five columns. You will see we have originally five columns here and seven rows. So I'm going to use five column and seven rows. And this is the table that we have got. Now we are going to add some content here. And later I'm going to customize it and merge the cells. So I'm going to add some content here. Uh, this is for the brand one. All right, so you will see that we have the header at the top. And this is the column for the brand one and brand two. Later, we are going to merge the cells. So here I'm going to add the colors. All right, and for the size, we have medium, large and Excel. So I'm going to add that information here. All right, so we have got the structure of the table, but this does not look professional. For brand one, we have black color, then we have medium size, large size and Excel size. And again, in the next row, we have brand one, a red color, medium, large and Excel. So I want to merge these cells for the brand one. And for the brand two, I want to merge all these cells. Similarly, this is again, size, size, size. So this is a repetition of the same attribute there. So I'm going to merge these cells here. So what you need to do, you need to click on the first cell, then press the shift button on your computer and then select the last cell. So we have selected these three cells using the shift button. Then you can click on this option here. And at the bottom, you will see merge, click on it. And it is going to merge these cells. And in these cells, we have the same content. So I'm going to delete the other content here and I'll keep only the size one content. So you can see here, we have size here for three cells. So I'm going to align the text to the center. Similarly, I'm going to align the text to the center for this one. And for this one also, I'm going to align this text to the center. Okay, so we have merged these three cells in this row. Now for the column, again, do the same thing. Click on the first column, press the shift key and select the third cell. So we have selected three different cells. Again, click on this option and click on merge. And these three cells will be merged. I'm going to remove the extra content. 
So we have got one brand name here in three cells. I'm going to do the same thing for these three cells. Select all the three cells using the shift key, then click on it and merge the cells. Remove the extra content from here. So we have got brand two. So these three cells are going to represent brand one and these three cells are going to represent brand two. Again, I can align the text to the center for this one. And I can make it bold. Now this is the header section for this particular table. So here in the table bar, we have the option to assign the header for the table. So I'm going to select the table here. And if I scroll down, you will see the option here, disable header. Currently the header is disabled. However, I want this top bar or the top row as the header. So I'm going to enable this option. And this top row will be the header of this particular table. Right now, if I go to customize option, the style settings, here you can see the header background color. This is the header now. So I'm going to change the background color for the header. Let's select this color. So now this is the header color. I can go to this text and change the color of the text so that it will look nice on the blue background. All right, so this is the color for this particular header section. If you want to center align all these content, you can select the content and from here you can align the text to the center. Here you can change the content, let's say sizes available. So we have created the exactly same table just like this. Now let me show you how does this look on the mobile devices. Let's go to this option and go to tablet. This is how it will look on the tablet. And if I select a mobile, this is how it will look on the mobile devices. So you can create a fully responsive table using this free plugin. So this is how you can merge the sales in a table for a WordPress website using a free plugin. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.